Welcome back to the Scotland trip and we're already on day four of the trip but just before we get to that let's give you a little bit of a recap on the previous episode where we visited three locations up the east side of Scotland. First we headed to the National Wallace Monument which is of course in memory of Sir William Wallace. We then headed up a little bit further to a place called Crawford Priory that we just couldn't believe the sheer size of the place when we got there when we walked in and amongst the different rooms of the actual priory itself. Very creepy. After that, we headed up to one of Luke's favorite places on the trip, which was Prince Albert's Pyramid, which was located in the grounds of Balmoral Castle around this area of Scotland. And then after that, we headed up to a location around this area where we made camp for the night, which leads us to day four of the trip, where we traveled across the top here over to the next location in this area, which was a place called Dingwall, which was very significant to Minch, which you'll see in today's episode. So let's head to Dingwall. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and the uh, Scotland trip. We're taking a long journey up now from the last location and we're going to Inverness. We've just been over the bridge at Inverness and we're going to a little village called Dingwall, which is where James's nan or grandma is originally from. So we're currently at Tesco in Dingwall, which is where Minch's nan is from originally. So it's sort of like he's come back to his hometown just on the phone to his nan as we speak. So Dingwall has a population of 5,491 and it's an east... <laughs> and it's a harbour town which is actually now classed as an inland harbour. And the castle up on the hill there in the background if you can see it was actually one of the biggest castles ever built north of Stirling Castle. She was like, oh you're all swapping? I was like, yeah. She was like, you are? I was like, no. So behind us, this is an old Masonic hall. As you can see on there, there is a logo of the Freemasons. And this is actually where your great nan and great granddad met. Yeah. So his great granddad was obviously come up here with the army. Was it the army? Yeah. It was World the War army II. in World War II. Met his gran and then how many years later, here he is. Back again. <laughs> So we've come out of Dingwall now and we've just headed to the car park for the Rogi Falls, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. There's a pathway through these pine trees which leads you down to the salmon trail and then down to the waterfall. So hopefully we'll see some salmon. Beautiful. Allegedly salmon come up and down this river um, and as you can see over there there's some guys fly fishing. I haven't seen them catch anything yet but wish them luck. Maybe it's time to 
So that was Rogie Falls. And what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the car and then we're going to head to our camp spot for tonight, which is a campsite that we've booked. And we'll see what we can see on the way to the campsite. So we've just joined the famous coastal road, the NC500, which goes around the north coast of Scotland. to the campsite minch found a lovely little campsite just off the nc 500 you've got golf course over there and a lovely beach that we're gonna go and walk down to later i've had a nice shower so i'm nice and clean again now and then this is the setup here okay see what we've got cooking we've got chef tonight on the ox menu we've got um some nice salmon fillets scottish fresh salmon fillets with some rosemary and thyme gorgeous sea salt and then over in this little bowl we've got some nice new potatoes and broccoli. Looks lovely. And then we've got the Champions League second leg, Man City versus Real Madrid, which will probably be like two months ago for you, but we're watching that live as well now, so. <laughs> So it's about half past 10 and we've come down to the beach which is just off the campsite um, and literally this sea here is the North Sea so you're right out towards Norway which is that way. Yeah this video hasn't been such of an action packed video but we've just been so rammed the past few days we're doing like three sort of locations a day and to be fair from the last location to here was nearly two hours. And I think in total from all the locations, we've gone pretty much like four to six hours driving today. So for the next few episodes and the next few days, we've got a lot planned. So we've got to try and cram it all in, but we've still got another week of filming up in Scotland, which is going to be absolutely mental. So thanks for watching this video guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>